Okay, hello and welcome to my humble abode. My name's Will Fee. Um, as all the ramen restaurants are gradually shutting down here in Yokohama, Japan Forward have asked me to put this video together in which I attempt to make my own ramen. I've never done it before, so I imagine there's going to be a lot of uh, mistakes along the way, but I'm going to give it a go, see what happens. Um, I'm going to split the video into a few different sections because the ramen making process is actually fairly lengthy. First I need to make the dashi, which is the kind of soup. Then I need to marinate the eggs and the pork. Then I need, need to make the noodles from scratch, which I feel is probably the bit where everything's going to start going wrong. Then I need to put it all together, obviously. That's going to take a few days from uh, as far as I understand. Uh, I found a, a recipe and um, a how-to guide on the internet. Uh, I've got all the ingredients. I've got a can of highball, so whiskey solder for when the going gets tough. Let's give it a go. To start off with, I need to make this kind of faux chicken broth. I've got my, um, my consomme, my cubes, and my boiling water. So, dry shiitake. Smells okay. Kombu. Mm. Also smells pretty good. You can definitely smell how that's gonna make that kind of umami flavor. Apparently now we need the bonito, the fish flakes as well, so... Here's my dashi, it looks good, smells good, very umami. Okay, on to the next part. Right, round two. Uh, I've decided to begin my burgeoning TV chefing career uh, in the fashion of the late great Anthony Bourdain by going ahead and opening up my high border. Nothing's gone wrong yet, but you never know what will happen. Now I need to make the tare, which is um, a kind of sauce. Apparently it's gonna to add to the complex flavors of the ramen, and it's also what I'm gonna marinate the eggs and the pork in. Eight tablespoons of soy sauce, let's go. Not too sure what mirin is, I think it's a kind of rice wine. Okay, now we need, oh no, that was the sake. <laughs> this is the mirin. That might have been too much sake, but never mind. I don't want to waste it by throwing it away. <laughs> Round two has already begun badly. Never mind. You can tell that I'm not much of a cook because I had to buy all this stuff, especially to make ramen. Ten. One for luck. What next? Water. Sure. That's got a little bit of tea in it. Let's get this clean. Sixteen. Okay. There we go. Water added. What next? Granulated sugar. Half a cup. Four. Okay, that seems like a lot of sugar to me. But I guess it's gonna taste nice. Sweet at least. One two inch piece of fresh ginger. I've got that. Just cutting off the skin. Get rid of that. So it just needs to be sliced. I guess that means it doesn't need to be particularly fine. Save a bit of time as well. Garlic, right. It says peeled and smashed. I guess that doesn't mean particularly well finely cut either, like the ginger. That's good. Again, saving time. Three green onions. Okay, I bought the wrong thing here, but that's everything we need so far. I need to bring it to a low simmer and then reduce the heat to low for a while. Right, so now I need to start preparing the pork. And it needs to be in two thick strips. So this is pork belly, by the way. Probably the most important part of the ramen. That's the pork in with the tare. I've covered it. Now I've just got to let it simmer on a low heat, apparently, for the next hour and 20 minutes. But ni tamago, the kind of eggs that I'm making, that's uh, the kanji niru, so to boil, plus tamago, egg, so boiled eggs. Um, but these ones are going to be soft boiled eggs. 
and it says that I need to, um, if I can grab it, if I can actually pick it up. I've got my pin here and it says that I need to prick the shell with this pin. And uh, that's what gives it the nice soft boiled egg texture, I guess. These eggs are also called Hanjuku ramen eggs. So eggs specifically for ramen. Molten egg, sounds pretty cool, because I guess when you uh, cut open a soft boiled egg, it comes out like molten lava maybe. So I need to prick the rounded bottom. They, don't, they both seem pretty rounded to me, but I'm guessing this is the top and this is the bottom. Okay, carefully prick. So, peeling the ni tamago. So according to my online how-to, the best way to do this is by knocking the eggs together. So, let's try it. These, it says that I need to thoroughly break them. So, I guess that means break the whole shell all the way over. So this one's breaking, but this one isn't. I guess I'll break this one with this one, and then I'm not sure what I'll do with the last one. Therapeutic. Okay. So yeah, the shell's getting really soft now. That one looks good. You can see that. Okay, now for this one. Ooh. Okay, so the other way around this time. I think this guy is just pretty resilient. So there's another one. Okay. <clears throat> and lastly, this tough guy is gonna have to use the chopping board, I think. There we go. Finally broken. Okay, so now all I have to do with the ni tamago, the boiled eggs, is to peel them and put them in the sauce left over from um, cooking the pork, and then I'm going to weigh it down with kombu, the kale, on top of this to make sure that the um, the eggs absorb as much of the sauce as possible. Okay, let's go. And apparently the, the, the wisdom behind pricking the bottom of the egg is that it makes it really easy to peel like this, which seems to have worked. Okay, so the eggs are nice and submerged in the sauce. Stick the rest of this kale on there. I guess maybe having all the uh, fish flakes and shiitake still attached to the kombu might add some more of this kind of umami flavour that we're looking forward to the ramen, to the eggs at least. I wonder if I could keep the rest of this uh, shiitake and bonito and kombu mix, I might be able to do something else with it. And that's all I'm going to do for tonight. I'm going to put all this stuff in the fridge. Apparently it needs to kind of steep and things. So it says minimum four hours up to 12, just for everything to kind of um, really get this umami flavor that I've been talking about. So I'll put them in the fridge and then tomorrow, Tomorrow morning, I guess, I'll have a go at making the noodles themselves. So, now for the noodle making process. I don't have uh, quite, a few, uh, quite a few of the things that I need um, that people would normally use for making noodles, like a, a pasta, cutter, things like that. I uh, also don't have a rolling pin, so I'm just going to have to squash it out with my hands. Let's see how it goes. I think that's about what I need. So I've been a bit concerned about my lack of a rolling pin, so I've improvised one from this chopsticks holder. Hopefully it won't break as I'm pushing down on it and rolling out the dough. All right, so this actually worked out pretty well. So that's my dough flattened, covered with oil. Apparently some people cover it with, cover it with uh, flour, but that gives it kind of rougher, uh, consistency and if you want that nice smooth elastic um, style noodle then it needs to be boiled. So I'm going to cover these up and leave it for an hour and a half. Okay so we're on to the final stage. I'm going to cut up the noodles, boil them, put them into the ramen. But first of all what I need to do is prepare all the other ingredients. So I've got my pork, Boiled eggs, um, where I've uh, marinated them in the tare, the 
which again would be really tasty now. That. Itamago done to perfection. Oh wow. That's really good. What? What do you do? And I've got my dashi. Okay. So nearly there. Now, finally, onto the noodles. So what I'm doing now is cutting the dough into small strips, and then we're gonna stretch them out, bang them on the table, fold them over, bang them on the table again, and then put them straight into the boiling water. Okay, give it a go. Oh yes, the finished article. So there's the pork, ginger, the noodles are under there somewhere, got some onions in there, got the nitamago, boiled eggs. Oof. There we have it, homemade ramen. It's had a few ups and downs. I'm not sure the, uh, the dashi, the soup, is going to be strong enough to be a real tasty ramen. But it's been a lot of fun making it, and yeah, all it's left to do is try it. Oh The noodles are a little bit fat, but they're tasty. Really, really good even if I do say so myself. Wow, the dashi is actually pretty good. Got some nice flavour. I've been practicing my ramen slurping noise. <laughs>